programming brought to you by AWI Networks, Smarter Internet. Thanks for joining St. George News at 8. I'm Scott Beadle. Nine military vets are set to leave St. George early Thursday for the next Utah Honor Flight mission. One of those nine is Leona Mark of Ivans. She was a WAVE during World War II, part of the Navy's Emergency Services Volunteers. She says she's eager to be part of this next flight after missing out on the April mission due to a hip fracture. Mark, who joined the Navy in 1944, was one of about 350,000 women who served during the war. She was assigned to a temporary hospital near San Francisco, caring for wounded Marines and sailors coming back from the war in the Pacific. Forty other vets will be joining from the Wasatch Front. The St. George group will come back to Utah on Saturday with a welcome home ceremony at 8 p.m. at the Falls Event Center. Everyone is welcome to attend to show their appreciation for the vets. Several towns in south central Utah felt a little trembling Saturday. A 3.4 magnitude earthquake was reported near the Severe Plateau. It hit around 10.30 Saturday night. Dozens of people reported feeling the quake in Monroe, Richfield, and Joseph. It wasn't powerful enough to cause damage, but was enough to be felt. Seismic activity is not uncommon in Utah. The U.S. Geological Survey reported about 20 incidents in the state in the last three weeks. Police are looking for two people who fled a traffic stop Sunday night. The Iron County Sheriff's Office says the two Hispanic men were stopped for speeding on northbound I-15. When they got out of the car, 29-year-old Roberto Gallardo and 39-year-old Manuel Romero Gallardo allegedly ran off. They are wanted in connection with drug trafficking violations. A reverse 911 alert was issued late Sunday night for residents in that area to lock their doors and to be on the lookout for those suspects. Anyone with information is asked to call 911 or the Iron County Sheriff's Office at 435-867-7500. A man was burned when his vehicle caught fire in an Arizona salvage yard. This happened Sunday afternoon in Littlefield. Firefighters were called to the corner of Farm Road and Desert Springs Road for a fire involving a two-door passenger car. A Mojave County deputy spotted it and called it in. EMTs discovered an injured man near the vehicle as salvage crews worked to put that fire out. The man suffered second-degree burns but did decline medical transport. That vehicle apparently caught fire it was, as it was being lifted onto a stack of salvage vehicles. The fire started inside the car, but it is unclear just what caused it. More than $3.1 million will be going toward Utah's maternal, infant, and early childhood home visiting program. The funding will allow Utah to continue to provide voluntary home visiting services to women during pregnancy and to parents with children up to kindergarten age. Medical professionals say home visits help kids to get a better start and a healthier one. This program serves about 42% of U.S. counties with high rates of low birth weight infants, teen births, families living in poverty, or infant mortality. In Utah, nine counties are served by this program, including Box Elder, Cash, Davis, Morgan, Rich, Salt Lake, Utah, Washington, and Weber. The sports world is continuing to fire back at President Trump's remarks that NFL players should be fired for kneeling during the national anthem. On Sunday, more than 200 players, coaches, and owners came together, some locking arms and others kneeling as the anthem played in different NFL games. Janae Norman has more from Washington. We have to figure out a way how we come together and be King James and denouncing people. President Trump. Because the people run this country, not one individual. Those remarks, just the latest from the sports world, where athletes, coaches, and owners are firing back against President Trump's calls for players to be fired. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a off the field? I certainly disagree with, you know, what he said and, and, and you know, thought it was just divisive. 
On Sunday, a strong showing of unity in the NFL spread from coast to coast and even overseas, where the Baltimore Ravens and Jacksonville Jaguars played in London. Locked arms, kneeled players, even a near-empty field during the national anthem as the Titans and Seahawks stayed in their locker rooms. It is kind of a surreal scene. You know, people say it's unpatriotic, but... It's unpatriotic of the president not uh, respecting our, our right. The president praised NASCAR, a league with considerably fewer minorities than the NBA and NFL, saying the league won't put up with disrespecting our country or flag. Today, the White House asked about the disparity in the president's response to protesters in Charlottesville who cited heritage, not hate, versus NFL players protesting police brutality. Is the debate is really for them about police brutality, they should probably protest the officers on the field that are protecting them instead of the American flag. Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers has your Southern Utah forecast coming up right after this. The weather tonight is brought to you by AWI Networks, smarter internet. And welcome back, everyone. A good Monday evening to you. Some cool temperatures out there once again today after seeing temperatures over the weekend in the low to mid 70s and much of southern Utah kept that stream going here into Monday too. 73 degrees was our high temperature here in St. George. Overnight lows into the 40s. Definitely a cool start to our day too. 46 degrees the overnight low. Normal high temperatures this time of year, upper 80s. We're normally at 88 degrees. Our record high is 103 and our record low is at 31. Uh, here in St. George. Now your Tuesday forecast, a little bit warmer, but still not near average. They're going to be still below average as we head to the next couple of days. 66, the high temperature Cedar City. Looking like lows in the low 80s to even mid 80s from St. George to Hurricane to actual Mesquite as well with mostly sunny skies. Maybe a little breezy in the afternoon. Those west northwest winds could be gusting as high as 20 miles per hour for our Tuesday. Here's a look at our high temperatures across the area today. 81 degrees, the high down in Vegas, 73 degrees in Mesquite and Hurricane. 61 up in Cedar City today. 62 degrees in Enterprise and 73. Again, the high temperature here in St. George. Not much going on out there as far as cloud cover or even rainfall. I have seen a few clouds from time to time, but definitely looking like some very cool temperatures in the forecast. A big dip in our jet stream has really brought some cooler temperatures back to our area, and they're going to hang around for a few days. Even as we get to the middle part and end parts of the work week, may get closer to average, which would be upper 80s, but still looking pretty nice here for this time of year. So some beautiful weather hangs around for your Tuesday. Lots of sunshine expected, staying very pleasant as we head into the window part of the work week as well. Still lots of clouds and sun though in the forecast as well. And this perfect fall weather really continues into the upcoming weekend with temperatures staying a little bit below average for this time of year. Again, as we end uh, September, get ready for October. Temperatures still looking pretty good here in Southern Utah. Reason for the big cool down is this big dip in the jet stream. You see it move all the way down into actually the Baja, California before it makes it uh, swing back to the north and to the east. But bring that cooler weather right in from Canada and actually bringing temperatures 10 to 15 even 20 degrees below where they should be this time of year. And some of this cool weather even getting all the way down to Phoenix as well. Well, they're seeing temperatures well below average. But on the other side of the jet stream in California, starting to warm back up like along the coastline, seeing some warmer temperatures get back into that part of the country. But most of the shower activity has been pushed out of our area, though, because of this jet stream being dipped like this. And again, that cool weather hanging around southern Utah as we head through the next couple of days. For tonight, though, right as we head into tomorrow, we'll see temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s around Cedar City and Enterprise, mostly sunny and windy. Those northwest winds can be gusting as high as 20 miles per hour, upper 70s to low 80s as we head to the next couple of days here on Tuesday in St. George as well. 81 degrees, 85 mesquite. Again, sunshine, a little breezy. Winds out of the west, southwest, as high as 20 miles per hour. <coughs> Excuse me. Our extended forecast, Cedar City, upper 60s to low 70s. And then St. George, back in the low 80s here, mid to upper 80s by early next week, 90 by Sunday though, so a little bit warmer by late next week. Way to power through there. I tried. So Thank it's you. a little, a little <laughs> tough to do this sometimes when you get a little hoarse. Exactly, get a little something in your throat just for, for one little second, but uh, we'll do good. We're making it through. All right. We'll get moving on. Thanks, right. Chris. Still had a bathroom that might make you want to party in the potty. When nature calls, Oregonians can now take care of business in an award-nominated location. The disco restroom at Off the Waffle in Southeast Portland is one of the contenders for America's Best Restroom. 
Now, you might not think the bathroom is an appropriate place for a disco party, but some would say you'd be mistaken. With just a flip of the switch, the room transforms into a party potty, complete with flashing lights and music. Oh yeah, people love it. People pretty much use the bathroom here whether or not they need to use the bathroom. Many other commodes are up for a $2,500 grand prize. You can check them out at bestrestroom.com. Uh, it'd be interesting to walk into that, I guess, and not really know what you're, what's going on. All of a sudden, lights start flashing. And if you like didn't that. know that was coming, that yeah, would be Yeah, it might be a little surprising. A surprise, that's yeah. for sure. But hey, good for them. <laughs> hope, hope they win. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great night.